So looking at online at troubleshooting videos and forums, the first thing everybody says to try for dripping dishwashers out of the corner is a new seal. And uh, you know, the old one is kind of pinched in some spots, there aren't any damaged spots, but certainly easy enough to try. And I didn't find anything broken. The clicking noise is from that plastic piece I showed, but it's actually where it pops back into place when you close it. So that's not doing anything. Major rant. I know from experience, manufacturing experience, that the cost of this rubber gasket is in the pennies, under a dime, 100% guaranteed. What I noticed was looking at the videos, going back through the years, some of them would quote prices, you know, they'd show you how to find the correct part, and over the years the prices crept up. Take a wild guess how much this little piece of rubber gasket costs. The cheapest, cheapest I could find it to my door, $52, absolutely ridiculous. Back in the day, when the early videos on YouTube, they were quoting in the 20s, and then 30s, and then 40s, and now today, here going into 2019, over 50 freaking dollars for a dishwasher seal. Absolutely ridiculous. You know, I never had to replace the old one at the old house, never had a drop of a leak, and that thing was 20 years old. This one here, uh, it's probably got four years of use on it. So out with the old, I'll just grab it and pull it out. It'll probably be easier to take this shelf out so I can grab it, but no, nope, got it. And it just lifts out and we're just gonna put the old one right back in its place. So it's still pliable, but it is flattened. You can see this contour is, uh, it's got a little divot in it. So let's take a look at the new one in comparison. So you can see this profile is actually slightly rounded up. So it's gonna make contact, probably just leaking right down where that bend was. Here's the other weird thing. Half the how-to videos I show, or I saw show, squishing this down like this was down into this channel. Yes, I'm gonna wipe that up first. Oh, you can see where water was getting in there for sure. Look at the rust around that screw. None up on the other ones, but certainly down on the lower ones. Hmm, well, anyway. Um, Half of them show putting the new one down and with a 90 degree bend like that, and then the other ones just show it straight down like that. So if I do a bend, this is why I think it's leaking. Look what it does to the actual corner. It squishes it in. And that's exactly where the water was coming through. So I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do like the repair videos, and I'm talking about factory repair videos, show just putting this straight down. So you just start in one corner, go around, and trim it off if it happens to be long because it is um, fitting multiple models, but it's the same profile for all different kinds. And this is a genuine part. So we can see the actual profile here of the rubber. You can see the thickness. It's quite thick. It's got a good rebound to it. This one here, well, I can't see the profile, but it's very weak in comparison to the wall here, especially at the seal. I mean, it just completely folds in. So hopefully that does it. Let's see. New one's in, let's do a short wash and see how it does. Well, that didn't do it. So what I'm gonna do is, because I already trimmed it to length, I'll cut it at the top and then move these down and squish them down in there and see if that helps. You know, looking at this, I wonder if it's not leveled right. I can see the, the soap around the heating element there in the front, but it's slightly higher up in the back. I wonder if it's somehow getting under that front lip, because I don't see anything you know, dripping down the actual side. It's like it's coming from the inside. I need to really find out where it's wet underneath. Okay, let's try that again. Got it down like the original was, nice and tight in the corners. Got it mopped up. There's like a sponge underneath here, and it slowly gets saturated. So we'll see if there's another puddle in another 20 minutes. All right, so we're still leaking, All right, Chloe? And it's definitely saturating the sponge right in the corner. Whatever it is, is right here. The only thing I feel different, where this plastic piece, this inner door, overlaps the little ridge that's on the base. It's nice and tight all the way along until right about here. 
and then it's bowed out this way, just a little, and there's, there's a little gap right here. So my thought is it's not pinching tight and it might have a little bit splashing up underneath it. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, this door is a molded piece of plastic. I don't know why it would be out. Maybe it's a manufacturing defect. I don't see anything broken on it, but making, oh, wait a minute. Is that cracked? This piece just pushed in completely. Is it like that over here? Yeah, it is. It pushes in there too. Let's see if it'll snap back. Yeah, I think that's where it's coming out. Some just poured out, so yeah. It's definitely coming out around there. This feels like it's cracking. So it looks like this piece needs replacement. Hmm, not a big deal, but probably not super cheap. I don't want to spend too much because now you're getting into new dishwasher territory. All right, I'm gonna pop that back out because it's in there pretty good. Come on. Anyway, that's my next working theory. All right, here you can see it flexed out. And I think it's from overextension. When you extend this door all the way down, I think it might be just, you know, weakening over time. You can see how it's splitting. That's where it's just splashing the water through there. And this is all one piece. So yeah, I'll check on a price for this inner door right now. Okay, so not bad. Uh, shipping is a little expensive because it's a big part, but the part itself is like 50 bucks all over the place. Um, Parts IPS here has the best price at 8201, but it's gonna take a week to get here. Sears is only a buck more, and it's gonna get here, well, it'd be tomorrow if it wasn't holiday, but it'll be here Thursday. So I'm gonna go with Sears. And while well, I can, while they're still in business. It's a very common door panel used on a ton of different uh, units. So if you've got a leak there and your seal looks good, definitely take a look at the corner of your door, flex your door all the way open and see if it's splitting and cracking. Not a big deal to uh, switch out. I just found a YouTube video from an appliance place and it looks like it's gonna take a whopping 10 minutes. So that will hopefully fix that. So it's Christmas Eve. The ham sitting out there done waiting on the rest of the food and I'm going in. Christmas Eve dinner. Well, day after Christmas, hope everyone had a great holiday. Had a real good time here. Got a new pair of motorcycle gloves. Same models I have, because yeah, they fit great. They work great, last me two or three years. Rain is what kills them. It was time for a new set. They, you know, starting to wear off the pads. The touch capability was getting a little flaky. Ooh, new ones are super comfy. So uh, today, as soon as the wife gets back from running her errands, I'm going back out to Lowe's and I'm gonna replace this uh, pressure relief valve. You gonna help, Chloe? Yeah? I don't think so. So I uh, wanted to pinpoint exactly where that recurring puddle of water was because it seemed fairly random. And that's what prompted me to think, well, maybe it's not uh, the water softener. Maybe it is that shutoff valve. So I just put a cup under it and sure enough, after a heavy cycle of a couple showers and a couple loads of dishes, I got about half that cup filled up. So that's definitely where it's coming from. And it does seem to be getting a little worse. I'm very sure that me flushing it the other week, working this probably for the first time in its service life has, you know, unseated it. There's like a rubber seal in there and Crap builds up on there. If you don't exercise your valve regularly, it'll build up 
so it won't shut and that's what I've got now so after it fully heats back up it you know just starts to weep it doesn't gush out I, I saw some drips into the cup so you know that's that's the volume you get per day basically or per cycle but it's not gonna get any better on its own it definitely doesn't reseat in any further this is supposed to be fairly tight up against here you can see it's it's stuck out probably a millimeter fraction of a millimeter and uh, that's what's holding something open so this whole thing just unscrews you don't really have to do anything special except buy a new one for 20 bucks and put some Teflon tape on it and I'll probably have to make a new drain pipe this is probably glued into place here so I'll probably have to just cut this and measure out a, a new one to get it down there no big deal I'll be out of it for 25 bucks and since I actually take care of my stuff, this will never happen again to any of mine. Just regular maintenance, guys. Flush your water heaters regularly. Exercise your valve regularly. I mean, there's, there's instructions freaking everywhere. Tells you this stuff, you know? Every month, every six months, whatever you need to do. So save yourself time and frustration. This is just... More of the same of this dude not knowing how to turn a freaking screwdriver to save his life around this house. <laughs> but, big deal, minor issue, we'll get it done. So you want some surefire bad advice, just ask housewives on Facebook. We've got a bunch of people erroneously putting out the garbage, because some dingbat put out a garbage schedule that said there's special pickups today. Our normal pickup was yesterday course Christmas no pickup well what she posted wasn't even for our city but people don't freaking read man so now a lot of people picked up on that and they're gonna have some garbage out here for a couple days probably <laughs> people are figuring it out <laughs> right, wife's back she's good with the hot water so step one shut off the gas shut off the cold water then we're gonna drain some water out just to relieve pressure, just in the bucket, no need to drain the full tank or anything. Then we're gonna work the valve, just get off any air pressure, shouldn't be that much. I'm gonna cut through the pipe, get that out of there, put a wrench on there, spin that out, see how long it is, or two lengths. I have a feeling this is the longer one, only a couple dollars between the two, and I'll go over to Lowe's, get a new valve. I got some tape. I'll measure out the pipe to make a new one and turn everything back on. That should do it. All right, plan B. Got everything shut off. Cannot get this really even to budge. I moved it maybe two degrees. I don't have a wrench big enough. I even tried a huge foot and a half long solid wrench on it, banging on it with a hammer. That's all I got it to move and it started to eat into the brass. So I just got to go buy a huge pipe wrench to get the right leverage on it and uh, obviously a new one of these gasket seal things I tried to pull it out to see if it was the long or short one but it's got a link that goes into the hot water tank and I can't get it out without getting this out first so what I'll do is I'll buy both the short and the long and just take back the one that I don't need they're only 20 bucks a piece rather than making two trips today well, this is the biggest one they got, and it's not any bigger than what I already tried, but at least I can get a pipe and put it on the pipe wrench. All right, got the valve, got new fittings, got new pipe. He confirmed I do need the longer one for my model, so that'll save me returning the short one. Now I just need to get a metal pipe for leverage. 30 bucks for a pipe big enough to fit. Yeah, I'll definitely be returning that when I'm done. Wow, that took me hanging off the end of that, whatever, three-foot pipe, Stuck on there just to bust it loose and it went pow. That was just cake down there. Now, uh, nope, still can't even move without the pipe. It is tight, man. Well, that's what I get for listening to store help. So you can see all the corrosion and buildup and gunk and that's why it was absolutely frozen on there. That is basically oxidation, rust. And that's what was keeping that locked on. You can see the buildup inside. That's why it was dripping and leaking. Inside there, that's the pressure spring. Just all kinds of gunk. 
So definitely do. Now, the question is, can I use this long one or is this flare here important for anything? I don't think it is. It just kind of sits in here. Can't tell if this is sealer or corrosion or gunk. There's nothing in the instructions about dealing with this at all. So it's probably just to keep heat in part of the insulation. But obviously with this outlet right here at the end, that's what it's actually sealing to. So I think I can use it. Um, you know, this is gonna be replaced in the next few years anyway. Don't really care if it sticks out. Just need to make sure it doesn't interfere with opening my softener lid. And let's see. And yes, it would interfere. It's barely squeezing by just with this, but by the time I put an elbow on, it's gonna have to go straight down, the elbow out like that. Uh, man, I hate to take it out of the package just to measure it out, but I might have to. Barely squeaks by. All right, good enough. Now to construct my pipe. All right, there we go. Nice and new, verified working. I used a clear 90 here. It's for irrigation. This isn't under high pressure, so it's okay. It's like a, a one-way compression fitting kind of thing, but this way I can tell in the future if it ever starts to leak. Oop. No, that's okay. I just did a, a test here. It's gonna weep at the seams here. Just put them in, so cement hasn't had time to dry yet. But just wanna make sure that everything is back and running. Just fired it back up. Pilot light didn't go out. Filled it back up. Now it'll come up to temp and we should be good to go. I don't see anything leaking around there. It's on nice and tight. Swung back around barely enough to fit back straight down back into place. Okay, now back to Lowe's to return that pipe wrench and pipe. <laughs> Get 50 bucks back. Sheesh. Well guys, I'm gonna end this day on a successful project. Been a little while since I had one of those. <laughs> See you guys later.